Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I will be showing you how you should be reviving your old content and bringing it back from the dead. So let's take a look at this website here. Um, this is our Fat Rank website. Essentially, I have been working along with James Dooley on this website. So if we take a look at this page here, as you can see, biggest cities in the UK, it has started ranking for over 2,000 keywords, 1.7 thousand organic traffic and 344 traffic value on Ahrefs. If we take a look here, as you can see, it was very, very stagnant up until June, July of this year. And ever since then, it has been skyrocketing for more and more keywords. Now, if we take a look at Google Search Console, as you can see, this is a 12 month period. Thursday, 15th of December, 2022, we were getting one click, zero clicks, two clicks every other day. And we have since been able to get approximately 20 to 30 clicks a day on that exact same page. Now, it's very simple and you can essentially do this on your web pages and I highly recommend it because one thing that a lot of people do is they will start mass producing articles on their website. Let's say you're an affiliate website and you're talking about the best smartphones or the best laptops. The best laptops six months ago probably aren't the best laptops now and the same goes with content as well. Content changes, facts change and there's obviously new case studies and there's new testing being done. For example, if you're in the YMYL niche, the facts that you have published five or six months ago might not be factual content now. So let's take a look at the actual page here. Biggest cities in the UK, as you can see, we have got a lot of content on the page here, a lot of listicles, a lot of tables, etc., etc. Now, what we specifically focused on was, first of all, matching the intent. Was the intent actually good enough? Previously, what we essentially had was just this list and we didn't have anything else. So we didn't have biggest cities in Scotland. Now, the more you're actually matching the intent of what somebody is searching, Google is going to trust that page more, meaning it's going to ultimately rank you for more keywords. Now, that being said, another strategy that we actually done was Query Hunter as well. So if nobody has ever used Query Hunter, I believe it's $75 for one website. But what this tool does is it tells you keywords that you are showing impressions for, or you may even be getting clicks for, but you don't actually have on the page. Now, for example, as we can see, biggest cities in the UK here, free mentions, 29 clicks, 15,000 impressions over a 12 month period. Now, my favorite section about Query Hunter is going into no mentions and then going through all of these keywords and essentially making sure that they are first of all relevant to the page and if they are, adding it to the page. So for example, how many cities in the UK, we actually have had two clicks for it and we've had just over 10,000 impressions. We're ranking position 10, however, we don't even mention it on the page. Now, what I would be looking to do there is actually having this as a question right at the bottom of the page, right down here where we have all of our other Q and A's. Now, one other thing that you can also do about Query Hunter is you can filter by low CTR. So anything that has had some form of CTR, but it's very low, what you can essentially do is make certain that you first of all have it on the page. If you don't add it onto the page or another section that you can take a look at is page two results. So these are any keywords that you're showing up on for page two. And just by simply adding it onto the page, you will get pushed up further positions just by doing that. So for example, here are largest cities in UK. We have had four clicks for it, 5,897 impressions. We're in position 12 at the minute. However, we don't actually have it on the page. So what I would simply do is go in and add it to the page. Now, another thing that you can essentially do is go into questions. And these are all the questions that we have had impressions for that we again don't have on the page. So what I would be looking to do is adding these onto the page. Now, what you can also do a further step is export these results. Okay, so what I have done here is I have just exported my results from Query Hunter. Now, what I'm looking to do is essentially pick out any keywords that I don't have any mentions. So right here, I've got no mentions, low CTR, page two and questions. What I'm going to do with these questions is I'm going to first of all check to see if they're relevant to the page. So how many cities in UK? Yep. What is the largest city in the UK by area? Yes, yes, yes. 
So uh, all I'm going to do here is pick the top seven. Again, you can do more if you want. Go to ChatGBT. So this is the prompt that I am using. I need you to answer the following questions in any SEO format with H2 and answer directly underneath. I need the answers as concise as possible. And then all I've just done is pasted the questions directly underneath it and I'm just gonna press enter and wait for it to come back. So it has just come back with all of the answers. So in some cases, you might need to tweak the answers ever so slightly. However, how many cities in the UK as of my last update in April 2020? In the United Kingdom has 69 official cities. What is the largest city in the UK by area? The largest city in the UK is London, covering approximately 1,572 square kilometers. So what I'm gonna do now is just copy this and paste it into my page. So I have just opened up my page. I'm gonna hit enter twice and just paste all of that in. I am gonna make a few tweaks here and there and then I'm gonna set the page live. So that has been all the tweaks that I've just made. I'm gonna click on update and view post. And all I've literally just done is added in a few extra questions. All I've done now is I have just added in four or five questions that we were getting impressions for and some low amounts of clicks. And I've just added it onto the page. So now I'm going to be using this prompt here. Create me a SEO introduction for the page title, Biggest Cities in UK. I want you to mention the following keywords in the introduction. Largest cities in UK, UK biggest cities, and major cities in UK. And then I'm gonna click on enter and this will do its thing. So now it's just finished my introduction and I am just going to copy this and paste it onto my page. So very quickly, just by using Query Hunter and the power of ChatGBT, I have been able to add in an additional set of keywords onto my page, meaning that I'm going to be able to rank higher for those keywords. If you've liked this video, please remember to like the video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any other questions regarding SEO videos that you feel like I should be covering, make certain to leave a comment down below and I will create a video. If you guys want a free strategy call, make certain to fill out the form on casualdash.com. The link for the website is down below in the description.